well, we can't take away from the fact it was a huge win for Wolves who were down to 10 men. But of course, all of the headlines and all of the narrative is going to be around that man there, Nathan Jones. Do you think he'll still be the manager come the next time we see them play? I think when you see supporters and fans expressing their, their anger so publicly at games before the game, the ball was kicked, the manager doesn't last very long. And you look at their, their performances of late, they just haven't been good enough. I thought maybe they'd turn the corner after the Man City result in the Cup. Um, they beat Everton, and obviously that was the first kind of battle at the bottom. But since then, their form has been poor. And again today, Wolves with 10 men, they take the lead as well. Southampton, and to get beat as they did today, it doesn't look good for them. And you're right, the fans really turned on him at the end of the match. You could you could hear their frustration being vented at him. You could, the, the, you could and um, he came out after and said that he was under the most pressure he's ever been before the game. So I wonder what he'd be feeling after it now. And um, you could see in that interview, he's obviously... Um, I think he's lost a little bit of control, he seems a bit frantic as well and maybe sometimes that reflects in your performances as players but it's not right and as Darren said and you said when the fans start being a little bit more vocal I think then you, you start to worry about him. Do you think another manager could bring that group of players out of the relegation zone? Do they have I'm, enough to work with? You know, I'm wondering if they're thinking about the Ralph situation because I think Ralph Hasenhut did a great job there um, I know he was on the end of a couple of big results, but he kept that team in the division, he kept them competitive, and they certainly they looked in a better place with Ralph than they do now. So I think one or two people at the club will be questioning that decision. But yeah, for sure, they're gonna, they need a spark from somewhere. And clearly at the minute, that's not Nathan Jones. And I, I like Nathan Jones, I like the way that he speaks, but I think in some of the interviews that he's done, he looks rattled. And I think, as mm. Karen said just now, that's starting to filter through to the players. I think when you, as well, the fans might be looking at other clubs like Aston Villa getting M Emre, you look at Lopetegui coming in, and you go in, that's, at Everton. Daesh, that's where they went. And they'll be thinking, oh, we need that because we want to do what they're doing. And I think that doesn't add, you know, that adds fuel to the fire as well.